I think the Taylor Wessing Prize is very influential, and I think it becomes a very powerful vehicle to to uh, inspire um, people to make work, especially for it, which I think is a great thing. So if I work with an assistant or a student and I hear that that weekend they might be uh, making a piece of work for the Taylor Wessing, I think, you know, what a great outcome. Sandy Nen once asked me that exact question, what makes a photograph a portrait, or what, yeah, what makes a portrait a portrait? And I, re I remember pondering that one for a long, long time. I've come up with nothing better than intention that one, whether the person behind the lens or the paintbrush or the person in front, has to have an intention to be, to be there and to be shown. I feel that doing a selfie or just taking a picture of a person in the street is not necessarily a portrait. I think it would be, be I think it's wrong to think that every picture of a person that's ever been taken is a portrait. I would say that what makes a portrait a portrait is, is that one or the other, the sitter or the artist, has an intention to make more than a likeness, to make something that involves atmosphere, more than a likeness of just the cadaver. You ask what makes a picture memorable, and I think going back to that notion of human condition, that we, as human beings, have many, many ways and states of being, but what we don't often think about is how recognizable they are to other human beings, and that when another human being recognizes that in someone else, they know exactly how that feels. And those human conditions that are most recognizable to others are the ones displayed that make a picture, a painting, a, a, a sculpture really memorable.